This podcast is about helping you and about sharing my experiences about any area in life. It's about staying mentally healthy, motivated and comfortable. So today I want to talk about how to deal with rude people. Everyone at some point in their life met one or two mean people or rude people. There are different types of rudeness and how often do we have to deal with such people in our life is quite different from one individual to another. If the person who is rude to you is just a stranger, it's best to just ignore it as the situation is not worth your time. However, what happens if the person who is rude to you is not just a stranger and the person is a family member or a co-worker or even a friend? So how can you deal with people like that and how can you handle them? Someone who is rude is completely different from a person with a narcissistic disorder. Rudeness is a habit, but narcissism is a disorder. And in here, my goal is to give you a few tips and a guide to help you develop some kind of a strategy when dealing with a rude person and to help you and guide you to behave in a way to avoid conflict. So my first tip is stay calm. One of the best things you can do when you encounter a rude person is to stay calm and don't react. Remember that you are only responsible for your own behavior and not someone else's behavior. You will not have the power over the person who is rude to you You will have the power over the person who was rude to you by staying calm and not reacting or taking it personally. The main reason a person is rude is either because they are going through problems in life or because they want to get a reaction out of you. Staying calm and not reacting will outsmart the rude person and put you in a better position and you will have an advantage than that person. The second thing that I want you to do is don't try and change the rude person. Trying to convince or change a rude person about their rudeness will not work as the person's mind is already made up you will be wasting your time and energy trying to change a person. You will end up feeling more frustrated than you were upset about the whole situation. Also understand that rudeness is a habit and it is difficult to break that habit. You can of course respond and point out politely to that person who was rude to you about what made you upset and what, how it made you feel. So you could as well speak to them if the person didn't mean to be rude to you or they just have uh, or had a bad day, he or she will understand and will apologize about their behavior. In the end, don't force someone to change because they will not change. No one will change unless they want to. And it is not your responsibility to change someone. The third thing that I want you to do is to walk away from the situation. One of the best things you can do when you are feeling hurt and upset because of a rude comment or a rude behavior is to walk away and to remove yourself from that situation. Anger and upset are strong emotions that could make you want to react and subsequently you are now under the rude person control and you are creating and you are reacting and that is exactly what they want. They want to feel power over you and the best way 
is to not let that happen and by and how can you not let that happen is by walking away from that person or the situation until you are calm and able to respond accordingly and politely number four i want you to show understanding and kindness sometimes the best way to diffuse a rude person is kindness take a moment to understand why the person was rude to you or to the people around you if the person is going through difficult times and under stress let them know that you understand that they are under pressure and offer some help we are all guilty of this sometimes we behave rudely to other people unknowingly when we are under pressure but we forget about it and we don't even remember it so if the person is rude to you momentarily just let them know and point out politely to them until they are calm and you can have a conversation with them about what is happening and you'll be able to understand the situation better showing such understanding and kindness will break the cycle of rudeness as it is in our nature to be rude back or even react so you want to be the best version of yourself which will lead me to point number five which is be the best version of yourself being the best version of yourself will make your life easy and you will feel empowered as you will be the role model to the people around you when you treat people with kindness respect and fairness people will appreciate that and they will want to mimic that good behavior it is important that you start with yourself first before trying to change someone else perhaps the rude person when he or she sees you behaving like that the best version of you they would want to be like you and they would want to become the role model as well and they change their behavior so and even if they didn't that's okay at least you've tried and you did your best at the end of the day you will be satisfied and you protected your energy and your well-being finally remember that we all perceive things differently sometimes the things that we consider rude to us are sometimes not true to other people always bear in mind that we analyze information differently from one person to another it's important to think and be mindful of that wish the person who was wrote to you well and send them love and use kindness as your weapon so if you have enjoyed this podcast please let me know and don't forget to leave a comment below to let me know what do you think the best way to deal with the road people and have you ever encountered one and made you feel angry and you wanted to react but you didn't i would love to hear your stories don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any new episodes uh, or videos if you are listening on youtube thank you so much for listening and see you next time